bubble and squeak, a traditional English meal. Now, as right now, I'm preparing the leftover potatoes to be boiled in our uh, boiler over here. After slicing the potatoes, you're gonna light the oven and then put it on high so you can boil the potato. Bubble and Squeak actually started out as all the leftovers from the Sunday night supper and was a well-known Monday meal because they take all the leftovers such as the potatoes, the vegetables, and then the morning bacon. Put it in a bowl together, mash it all up. Now the great thing with Bubble and Squeak, you can add such as bacon, a personal favorite of mine, that nice little pinch of flavor that gives it that great taste that we all love. See over here, we light the bacon up. Turn it off, put that nice little... Head over to the bacon, which is now a nice sizzling thing. Give it a little, little tap a sip around. The next stop in this process of creating this fine dish is to cut the cabbage. Make sure you cut it nice and thin. Be careful of your fingers. You want to have all ten fingers nicely intact by the end of this. Cabbage isn't really corresponding right now. There we go. Next step, we're going to peel this onion, slice it up, and we're going to have to fry it. So first, Got to peel it, that way we can get to the step where we cut the onion. Now this onion gives it a nice taste to this and truly represents the nice leftover part of this um, uh, meal because they usually use the leftover on onion from the Sunday's meal. And this really does give it that true English feeling to it. Now after peeling the onion, you'd like to the slices over, and then begin slicing the onion. A few with with the potatoes. I'll let that sit for a little bit. Now we're going to look back on our cabbage and our potatoes. Looking pretty good. Let's see what the potatoes looking like. Almost done with the potatoes. We give about a few more minutes, but get that nice look on it. See how everything's turning out just about fine. And now it's time to fry our onion. We're going to use some butter as our base over here. Oh, looks like butter right here. Then put nice one onion down. We make sure we want a one full onion. That way we have enough onion for this dish. Right here. We're gonna kick it up a little. Just like that. Now you guys see this nice little caramel look to this onion? Looking very good. You don't want it to get any darker than this. We're gonna go ahead and cease the frying of the onions. Now the potatoes have been boiled up to the great point we want them at. It's time to get them in here so they can be mashed. Now to smash the potatoes. Take it in here. Well first let's take a look at the potatoes before they're mashed. Here we're gonna, you wanna be real careful, send it up to like three right in between there. Take a look. Now you wanna scrape the tops off the mashed potatoes. See that? We got a little better. Now to spice it up, give it a little color, and add some flavor to it, we're gonna get some zucchini. Next for some squash. Now the ingredients don't call for this, but this is actually what many English people do. They, they use their um, uh, weekly groceries and all the leftovers. So like, say this is like what you didn't use in your um, uh, and in your preparation for your week's meal. You would use this on the Monday before you going out and get your new groceries. 
and use the leftovers for this meal. And that's what it's perfect for. So we have a little pepper right here, get a little spice. And... So we're taking the mixed vegetables and we're frying them up with the onions, trying to give them that nice little tan look to them. Now we have the greens, and now what we're gonna do is mix it with the potatoes. Here. And what we're doing is we're mixing all the mashed potatoes and the greens together. That way when we put it back on and have it all, uh, all fried so it'll end up looking like a pancake actually. And we'll flip it over and all this stuff will be in together and be tasting really good. Now we're going to take our fried onions and fried in our vegetables have that in there. Remember it was one onion and we also had a few other arranged vegetables that would be leftovers that the English would have throughout the week and would add in the meal. We have this right here. If you want to come and take a better look at this, what we're looking at right here. here go. Really want to get this all stirred up. And now that what we have is right here, we're gonna take it, we're gonna put it up in here. And now if you listen closely, you will actually hear the bubble and squeak, hence where the name comes from. See the little bubble, you hear the little squeaking noises. Here's the final bubble and squeak. It's a great meal for a big appetite. Nice size portion. We have the bacon on top. We've got the mashed potatoes, the vegetables, our mixed greens, all inside there. We got some asparagus on the side. This is your standard traditional English meal, which you will see a lot in our trip in London. Thank you. Yeah. I really like this dish. It tastes really good. It's nice and crunchy. It's got a lot of vegetables in it. It's really healthy for you. It's a good meal, and it's really cheap also, and you can just use all your leftover groceries for it, so I think it's a great option when we're living over in London. And while I may not order it while I'm out eating in London, it's definitely something that I'll be preparing. Me and my roommates and my sweetmates will be preparing this while we are on our stay in London.